Hey, what's up guys? It's snowing out here a little bit. I gotta do my videos outside because um, this the lighting's better. I tried doing one in the house and it didn't come out so good. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys these two. I've showed them before, but now that I got the better camera, I'm probably gonna show most of my knives again. Half the comments on my other videos were, we need HD, so I'll do them in HD now. Need an excuse to do videos anyway, because I only get new stuff so often, and if I only did videos then, there wouldn't be too many. We got a Jerry Corbett. Window pocket inner frame. This is a one of two made. He actually stopped making knives, so there won't be any more. Actually, kind of sucks. And this one is a Ken Steiger bolt. He's a Pennsylvania maker. This is an auto. See, it says uh, Steiger bolt PA right there, which is cool. He does the scalloping perfectly. It's Mike Norris, Damascus, and I believe Devin Thomas stainless for the blade. You got mammoth ivory bark scales. Cool mechanism on this one. It's this um, side button release. It's a leaf spring. Nice file work on the back strap. It's more than a back strap, it's actually part of the locking mechanism, kind of like a lock back. He's one of my favorite makers. And he's only about 20 minutes away. If you guys look him up and look in the books, you see a lot of really, really nice knives. He does some super, super high-end stuff. Like carvings and all types of stuff. This is the Jerry Corbett. Uh, again, fully engraved by Russ Zimmer. Has super smooth action on this one. And this is the smoothest knife I have. It's the smoothest knife I ever opened even knives with bearings, it's just so, so smooth. Uh, full file work has citrine, I think, citrine and topaz stones. This is the epitome of a safe queen right here. You obviously don't use this. It's just basically an investment piece. I have carried it in a sheath, but, you know, I do. I would use any of my knives if it was a self-defense type of situation, but no, I'm not going to go cutting wire with this, or stripping wire. Uh, the blade is Chad Nichols stainless. I sent that to Jerry along with the shell. It's like a modified gator pattern. You can see a lot of detail in the engraving. All the relief work. Again, that's Russ Zimmer. Really, really good dude. You're going to see the smoothness on that. Little top swedge. Got the file work thumb stud. little stone in there.
a lot of work on this one. I love the action on it. A little bit of file work on the blade spine. Both knives are similar in size. This one feels really good in the hand with the ergos. You can see this little swoop and this swoop. They're just perfect for your fingers. Again, just because they're pretty don't mean they don't stab, you know? So now it's a really tight Damascus. Right here, it almost rem uh, reminds me of San Mai right here. How he tried to get the, I guess the, the harder carbon towards the edge. You see all the black towards the edge. Really nice uh, Damascus bolsters on this one. The, the contrast, it's like black and white. You can't, I've never seen uh, Damascus contrast that, you know, that much. Really nice knife, good size. Looks like an antique. Great action. Alright guys, I just wanted to show you these in HD. Make a video on board. Alright, thanks for checking out my videos. Later.